Hey everyone, we've been granted access to a special behind the scenes tour of the AC Golden Brewery. Now the interesting thing is that they are in the middle of and surrounded by the very large Coors Brewery right here in the Golden Valley. Let's take a look. Now there's only about a dozen people that brew and package several familiar names like Barman Pilsner and Colorado native Amber Lager, which won a gold medal at the 2014 Great American Beer Festival. As we walk in to get to the AC Golden Brewing Company, we pass by this pond. Now a lot of people ask if this is the water they use to brew the beer. The short answer is no, this is the cooling pond. They only use this water to cool the equipment and keep the beer cold, because cold beer is just better. Now as we walk down the halls to finally start our tour of the AC Golden Brewery, we pass by a lot of beer heritage from right here in Golden. You could say that these were some of Colorado's first craft brewers. The cool thing that sets Colorado Native apart from other beers brewed in state is while other brewers might use malt and hops from outside of Colorado, Colorado Native stays true to its name using only 100% Colorado ingredients. Now before we enter the brewery, we have to gear up with personal protective equipment, which is one of the reasons they don't grant public tours to the AC Golden Brewery. All right, this is the first stop on the tour. This is the malt delivery system. This one little hopper is responsible for all of the beers they brew at AC Golden. The milled malt in this vessel will go down to what's called the mash tun, which is where we're going next. Steve, welcome to the brew house. Thank you very much. Describe the process for us. Well, you just saw where the malt was upstairs. Right. Comes down the chute, it gets added with water, and ends up in the mash tub. Okay. It's where you see all the nice foam. Enzymes are starting to work here. What we do is we mix the malt with water, certain temperatures, the enzymes start breaking down all the starches into sugars. Okay. That's what we're looking for. From then, we send the mash over to our mash filter, okay. where we separate the grain from the wort. All right, and then what happens after that? From there, we send that to the boil kettle, where we add the hops, and we cook the process so we can finish the, the brewing process. Sounds okay. delicious already. Here come the hops. Smells amazing already. Yeah, this was our second edition of three of our 100% Colorado hops. Okay. Uh, these were Cascades that we just threw in. A uh, little bit of bittering going on here, a lot of aroma for this edition. Uh, we have another edition we do as well a little later. Okay. For strictly aroma. Uh, most of these hops are grown on the western slope by our growers. Uh, we contract with them. 100% Colorado native? 100% Colorado. Excellent. Would you like to see where I store the hops? I'd like to. I have this vision of it being like armed guards at Fort Knox, but I suspect with the size of this operation, not quite that big. Not quite. So we have them right in here. Okay. Stored at freezing to keep them nice and fresh. These, uh, we have our. Uh, Obviously, Colorado Centennials, we have some Colorado Nuggets, Colorado Cascades, um, super fresh, ready to go. Even when they're cold, they smell wonderful. Yes, they do. From, from here, we're going to go to fermenting. Okay. I'll send you that way. This way and down? That way and down. Now, before we head down to fermentation, I just wanted to clarify one very important fact. Here in AC Golden, their batch size is just 30 barrels. Out there, that's the Coors Brewery. Their batch size is 500 barrels. Everything here at AC Golden, soup to nuts, truly a craft process. We're coming from upstairs at the brew kettle down here to look at these big stainless steel monoliths. And Chris here is going to tell us what happens with these guys. Absolutely, Stephen. So what we have going on is we're coming down from the brew kettle with hot wort. We need to put it into our whirlpool to separate some of the proteins and solids. And after we let it settle for a little bit, we'll send it through our heat exchanger okay. so that we can cool it at a rapid pace, uh, inject a little air to help with yeast viability, and then put it into a fermenter. And we'll have Jason over there talk to us a little bit about our fermentation process. Thank you. All right, we're coming into fermentation to talk with Jason, who's going to describe the process to us. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the wort that was created in the brew house, okay. add some yeast. The yeast is going to convert that to alcohol and carbon dioxide. All right. So after about five to seven days, 
fermentation is complete. Okay. The yeast settle to the bottom of the tank, they go kind of dormant, right. they get sleepy. So we're going to reuse that yeast and pitch it into another tank. So you reuse your yeast? Absolutely. Is that one of the reasons why this tank is cone shaped so you can collect that yeast? Sure is. Okay. Everything happens in this one tank. So we're going to ferment, do warm conditioning, cold aging, and then we're ready for filtration. Okay, one step closer to beer. And yeah. then what happens? From this tank, it heads over to a filtration unit? Absolutely. All right. From here, we're going to head over to our centrifuge which is our first stage of filtration. It's gonna pull out all the yeast and some big protein particles before we hit our sheet filter. Right. Sheet filter has nice fine pores. It's gonna pull out any additional yeast and any proteins that may be left in the beer and make it nice and brilliant, nice and clear. Nice and clear. Okay, so from this filtration unit, what? It goes next over here to the bright tanks, right? Into the bright tanks. Describe bright the tanks uh, is beer that's ready for packaging. All right. So it's carbonated, it's to spec for alcohol, and we're ready to go keg some beer. Let's go keg some beer. All right. Let's find Speedo. Now we're heading into the kegging area where we find Speedo here taking care of manually filling some kegs. How are you today? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. Thanks for asking. Describe the process good. you got going on here. Well, we're kegging some uh, Colorado Native here today, and it's uh, it's an old school sort of a process. We keg three kegs at a time, and uh, everything's done by hand manually, so Excellent. it takes a little while to do it, but it's, uh, it's not a bad job. Yeah, I imagine it's probably worth it. Yeah, it's good. It's good beer. Let's head on up to our packaging line, our bottling line, and I'll show you how we bottle the beer. Hi, I'm Ben. I'm brewer at AC Golden. Nice to meet you. You're walking into uh, our, our normal Thursday. We're doing a packaging run on one of our Colorado Native products. Today we're running Colorado Native IPL. As you can see, it's a pretty manual process. We have a lot of help in here on Thursday, and it all starts with flipping our clean bottles onto our conveyor belt. Um, our, our finished boxes are then cut and readied to, be, uh, to have our finished product put into it. As the bottles move down the conveyor, they run through a bottle rinser, and they head into our 16-head Crohn's filler. Um, that filler is taking our finished product from downstairs, um, uh, filling the bottles, crowning them, and they're coming through where, again, we're manually taking the bottles, putting them in cases, and running them through the taper. It's really a hands-on process. Exactly. Um, a lot different from the big brewery and a lot different from uh, a lot of craft brewers our size as well. Um, but we're really ensuring quality. We're making sure that that high-quality Colorado Native IPL we had from downstairs finishes that exact, exact same quality at retail. So packaging is a huge part of that. Um, we want the consumer to taste that fresh, clean beer that we've experienced downstairs when they get to take home a bottle with them. Sounds beautiful. I think quality start to finish, it sounds exactly. like. Exactly. Well, thank you. I'm going to go meet with Nip. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey there, Nip. What you got here? Hey, Steve. This is our new Wheat Schwartz beer. All take right. a whiff of that. Oh, it smells amazing. Oh, isn't that great? That's what we do around here. We make great craft beers. Hey, thanks for taking the time to show people around today. My pleasure. We can't have people back here because of the liability. It's great that you could show them around for us. Well, thanks for the time today. I appreciate yeah. it. Well, that wraps up our tour of the AC Golden Brewing Company. I hope you choose to try some of their craft beers sometime in the real near future. Thanks.